Hello everybody, Aki here, and welcome to my next RPG Maker horror game, Mermaid Swamp. Now this game is highly regarded because it was created by Uri, who also created Paranoiac, The Crooked Man, and The Sandman. So, let's hope that this is a really good game. I've seen a few big name people play it, like Minx. I think only Minx. Yeah. Anyways, um... I was recording earlier about a good eight minutes and my computer decided to crash so it didn't save the footage and I was really looking I, I really like that footage but I'll try my best um what I did during that was uh I tried to become more lively while I was doing the dialogue so that I could somewhat match the uh the personality of the person that's speaking so if you guys don't mind me doing that I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do it and uh, yeah let's get started this game contains grotesque and somewhat sexual images please be mindful of this as you play the doc I was going to say the doctor, wow. The author takes no responsibility in advance for any trouble or damages indirectly brought about by the game. What is that noise? What the? Am I underwater? What the hell am I doing? Is somebody there? <sighs> Rin, wake up! Stop sleeping already for crying out loud. Ah, shut up. I was just taking a nap. That's so bad. One hell of a nap. You've just been driving all this time and you've just been snoozing in the back. Sheesh, not a hint of lady in this one. Not exactly interested in being ladylike for an early balding punk like you. Rin, he has hair. If you don't see that, he has hair. You should get your eyes checked, Rin. Rise and shine, Rin. I'm going to guess you slept well, given you started around noon. Yeah, but thanks to Baldy here, more of a rude awakening. Quit your yammering, Yammerzaki. Clever, Seitaro. It's very clever. Hey, Yuta. Where are we, anyways? You said something about kicking things into high gear. But are we in the mountains, or what? <laughs> My bad. I don't know where this is, either. Huh? You're telling me we're lost? Yep. Don't have the first clue where we are. You gotta be kidding. You said the mountains were a shortcut, so I thought you knew the way. Sorry about that. I mean, I did kind of know at first, but the fog just got so thick. <laughs> this ain't funny, shrimp face. This is exactly why I didn't want to go and no trip in your lousy old GPS-less car. Ah, don't kick the seat. Well, now what do we do? I can't even see any signs. Huh? Yuta, why did we stop? I I didn't. It just stopped. Oh, hold on, I'll try the engine. <sighs> so cliche. Ah oh, crap! I think it's totally busted. Are you for real, dude? You dumbass! Oh, wait here. I'll go out and take a look. Let's do it, Rin. Nothing looks wrong to me. Why the hell did it stop? Rin, do you even know how to... Well, you are kind of tomboyish with your... little tomboyish accent. Whatever. S somebody there? Quite a surprise. What would you be doing in up in these mountains, miss? Just an old coot. Damn it. Don't freak me out. We were on a trip, but our car went kaput. <laughs> kaput. So I guess we're stuck. That's very unfortunate. Is there anywhere you can stay? Nah. If we can't get it running, I guess we'll spend the night in the car. 
You need to do that. My home is nearby. You can stay there. Even if it's summer, it's quite cold in the nights. Yeah, even though it is summer, guys, it is actually very cold in the middle of the night. I learned firsthand. Huh, for real? Well, let me talk to my buds. You see, a regular girl wouldn't use the word buds, but she's tomboyish, so she used the word buds, because buds is more of a masculine term in describing friends. Anyways, that's a relief. Thanks, old man, but you sure? We don't want to pressure you. Well, I'm a landlord around here, you see. My house is much bigger than my needs. I would appreciate some young folks make use of it. I'm really grateful. We'll get that car fixed and leave tomorrow. Ah, I can see it now. Whoa, that place is huge. Damn, now that's a mansion. I kind of feel bad, Gramps, but thanks. Whoa, it's really roomy inside, too. You gotta be rich, am I right? <laughs> rich enough to be ashamed of the state of this old place, perhaps. Come along, I'll show you to your rooms. You can use this room, Ms. Rin. Forgive the old-fashionedness. It ain't nothing. I kind of like the whole retro thing. thing. Thanks again, Gramps. I'm sure you're all hungry, aren't you? I'll cook you some dinner. Until then, make yourself at home. Awesome. Oh, I have small windows. An electrical outlet. A large swamp can be seen in front of the house. A chest for valuables, maybe? There's nothing inside, though. Nothing inside, nothing inside, nothing inside. Nothing inside. A fireplace. Good job, Rin. A light stand. Now, this was where I kind of got... Where my computer kind of crashed, so... Lost about eight minutes of footage. Give or take. It ain't that old of a building, really. You see the other place out back? Now that's old. Huh, there's another mansion out back? The old man tells me they built this one a generation ago, since the older one was falling apart. Huh. There is some conflict going on in my house. Oh my gosh. Hey, nice. Your room has a dresser. I ain't got one in mine. It's a great design, isn't it? You can come over to do your makeup in the morning. Hey, thanks a bunch. Thanks, Yuka. I like you, Yuka. We'll be the best of friends, Yuka. Uh, what's your name? Yuta. Okay. Hey, Rin. You see that big swamp in front? Yeah, the one you see out of the windows. It's super huge, isn't it? Maybe I'll go swimming tomorrow. That's a bad idea. Who swims in a swamp? It is dirty. Yeah, uh, stay away from me after you do that, because you're going to reek. Yeah, pretty dirty in those swamps, man. I wouldn't go there. What's this room? Oh, an old... <coughs> oh, an old-fashioned Japanese room. Ugh. My my reaction exactly, Rin. Uh, we got a little... Looks like a guest room. Late clock. Let's check out this painting. Mm, good, good. It's very... Picasso-esque. It's locked. Of course. Everything is locked. Bathroom! Hmm, isn't that a nymph? That is a really big bath. That is a really big bath! I want to go in it. It's like a pool. These were like the pools that I used to swim in, in front of my yard. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to try to play a lot more RPG Maker horror games instead of the big name games. I mean, I'll still play like horror games like Dread Out and uh, 
anything that's coming up. But I'll I'll go easy on the uh, stuff like Watch Watch Dogs and Tomb Raider and Child of Light, because you guys seem to really enjoy my RPG Maker horror, my RPG Maker in general, my RPG Maker games. Uh, judging by the view count from Chloe's Requiem and Black Senpai, so. Thanks for sitting down and watching me play that, and, uh, yeah. Hmm. I don't have much food on hand for guests. Would chicken and egg on rice be alright? Huh? I kind of prefer something beefier, like, literally beefier. Unfortunately, I'm out of beef. I must apologize. Oh well, I'll eat anything on this stomach. Or maybe on most stomachs. <laughs> alright. Rin, you're kind of a selfish person. I mean, this 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 old man's letting you stay in his large house, which he shouldn't have, which which he didn't have to, but he offered, and now you're being picky about what you eat. Beggars can't be choosers, Rin. Maybe you shouldn't go walking around too much. Don't want Gramps to find me and get mad. Oh yeah, I think we go outside. There we go. Whoa, that's one big swamp. Hmm? What's this? A stone monument? Uh. A man did abduct from the seashore. Crap, I can't read this. Maybe Seitaro would know about this old stuff. He's got more knowledge than he knows what to do with. Curious about the monument? Ah, jeez, old man. You gotta not do that. Oh, my apologies. Did you read the inscription? Nah, I couldn't make heads or tails of it. What's it say? It's a legend that's told around here. The legend of a so-called mermaid swamp. Legend? It originated in the middle of the Meiji era. My family has governed this area since around that time. It is said the son of a leader descended the mountains along s <clears throat> It is said the son of a leader descended the mountains down to the seaside and discovered a mermaid. Sounds shady right out of the gate. <laughs> well, it is a legend. The man was so smitten with the mermaid's beauty that he took her to his mountain home. He created a fish tank for her to live in and he filled it with water from this very swamp. But a mermaid of the sea cares not for swamp water. The mermaid grew weak and became quite ugly. Her clear skin swelled, her scales fell off, and her voice, as melodic as ringing bells, was reduced to a beastly howl. The mermaid took on an almost repulsive form and subsequently died. And a mermaid's wrath is no petty thing. Young women have vanished from the nearby village it is said to be the mermaid's curse. As such, this monument was put up to mourn her. What do you think? Hard to call it romantic, but interesting nonetheless, yes? Uh, hmm, sorry. Don't know about all that. Tell it to Seitaro. He likes stories and stuff. Ah, is that right? Well, I've prepared dinner now, so come to the dining room if you would. Oh, finally, let's get a move on. Mmm, delish. This is some great stuff, old man. I'm glad you like it. You can slow down a little, though. And the bath is free if anyone wants to use it. You must be tired from the day's events. Please, rest yourselves. Yuka, you aren't gonna eat? What's up? Yeah, I guess I'm just too tired to have an appetite. Whoa, you okay? We'll clean up. You, go, you can go get some rest. Alright, thanks, Yuta. Yuta's mine. Not Yuta, what am I saying? Yuka's mine. Yummy, yummy. Y'all clean up now. Why do we have to clean up after you? Do it yourself, Yama Yucky. Your nicknames are very hurtful. And I don't appreciate it. Yeah, work on your names while you Yeah, see, you gotta work on your names, Seitaro. Man, I'm stuffed. I'm ready to conk out after that bath. Wait. 
Wait. Did I take the bath? Okay, yeah, I did. Yeah. Ah, nice fluffy bed. Fwa fwa. Mm. Huh? Am I underwater again? Must be a dream. I mean, I'm not drowning, and my eyes don't hurt. Can't move a muscle, though. Somebody's there again. Who the hell is it? Stop staring at me. I'll kill you. Sheesh. Rin. Yandere much? Got some good sleep. Morning already? Um. Hey! Yuka, it's morning. Wake up! Sorry, Rin. I'm kind of. I'm feeling kind of cold. Can I rest a little longer? Alright. You gonna be okay? Don't push yourself. Yeah, I'm fine. Maybe I caught cold because of all that fog. Let's go in here. Nope. In here. Yes. Dang, you guys are up early. What's the deal? Early? It's already 10. But anyways, I checked on the car and it's still not looking any better. Couldn't be out of gas. It's so old, I wouldn't rule out if it was just falling apart. But whatever it is, how are we going to leave? Oh, what's happening here? So yeah, old man, sorry, but can we stay a while longer? That's unfortunate. As a matter of fact, I have to go to a nearby village to attend a memorial service for a few days. That's right. Well, we'll be out soon then. We wouldn't want to stay too long. Even without a car, we should find our way walking. We could just leave the car and take the train home. No, that's quite alright for you to stay. I'm the only one who lives here, after all. And I would quite appreciate someone looking after it. <laughs> really? Indeed. And you wouldn't get far walking in the mountains. Certainly not in this fog. You're more than welcome to stay until your car is fixed. Just please don't do anything dangerous like walking around the mountains. All right. Thanks, Gramps. Well, I've got to be heading out. Keep an eye on any fires. And again, don't go walking in mountains. Yeah, yeah. We'll hold down the fort. Don't you worry. Don't go dying yourself, you hear? <laughs> I'll be careful. So long. Hey, it's evening already. Better get in the bath first. I hate going in after the guys. Oh, that's how I save, okay. Whew. So, uh... No, that's not the bath. So, if you guys have any requests for what I should play next, uh... Just leave it in the comments, and I'll put it on the list, and I'll get to it. And I'm naked. Ah, yeah, that's the good stuff. Couldn't really manage to relax yesterday. Having a huge bath like this is sweet. Wonder if Yuka's gonna bathe. Sucks that she's not feeling well. Kind of a waste of a trip. I'm getting sleepy. Hmm? <gasps> what the hell is this? The water's all gross. It wasn't this color when I got in. Look at her, she's shaking. N not my fault, right? I'm not that dirty. Hey, what's... Knock, man! What? The hell are you barging in on me for? Yeah, I don't want to yell too loud. My parents will yell at me. For real, though. This is so muddy. How gross are you? Shut your mouth. That ain't the problem. The water just got all muddy. Poof. Like that. Alright, jokes aside then. Isn't this swamp water? 
Huh? And why would it be in the bath, genius? I don't know. Maybe the plumbing screwed up. Could have mixed in some swamp water. Though the shower and toilet look okay. Well, no baths for a while, I guess. We'll have to hold out until the old man's back. I'm out. Damn it. What even? Ah, This pisses me off. I'll check on Yuka then get to bed. Yuka-chan. Yuka, 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 Yuka. Yuka's trembling. Looks kind of pained. Is she going to be okay? Okay. Now I did get a suggestion to play Eeb. So if you guys want me to play Eeb, I'll do it. Alright, that'll do her bedtime. Oh, just charge the phone. Good night. Ugh. Well, now that she yawned, I kind of have to yawn. I hear water again. What? What in the fresh hell? The water is... The house is full of water. Right, just a dream. What a weird one. Oh ho ho. The phone is charging. Shouldn't it kind of be... What is that? Is that a walrus? Looks like a walrus. Was there something there? It went towards Yuka's room. Yuka, no! Yuka, Yuka, Yuka. Yuka Tan. <sighs> mine, mine. Hey, that that noise is familiar. That's from Chloe's Requiem. <laughs> <sighs> Just a dream. Oh, what an awful dream. I wonder if Yuka's up. I hope she's better. Can I get my phone? No? Well, okay then. Yuka. Hey, Yuka, it's morning. Are you feeling any better? We can go to the hospital if it's bad, okay? Uh, Yuka? Hey, Yuka, come on. Ew. Ew. What? <laughs> Yuka, what happened to you? You're all swollen. Hey, what the hell? Yuka, what, what is this? Rin, call an ambulance. Uh, ambulance? There's a phone in the living room. Hurry. G got it. Uh, 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 uh. This one's the living room, right? Yeah. Um, what's the number? Right, 119. What? I, I don't hear a thing. The wire is connected for sure. Is this thing busted? Peace! This ain't the time! Oh yeah, my cell is charging. I'll use that. Go, 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 go. I need to save Yucatan. Okay, okay. 119, right? Come on, come on. What? Out of battery? What? But it's plugged in. It's freaking charging, damn it. What the hell is going on? We, we can't call an ambulance without a goddamn working phone. What the hell happened to Yuka? Her body's all swollen, skin all stuck. Diff. Makes her seem almost like a corpse. Shut the hell up! You could sure as hell not dead. She's still breathing and all right. Sorry. Hey, what about Seitaro? Where do you go? He's off looking for nearby villages or towns or anywhere we can call a hospital. Villages? Towns? N no, there's. What? No way, there's any in walking distance. We didn't see any in the car, right? 
And there's no way in this fog. Can't see more than a few meters in front. The hell do you propose then? You want to leave Yuka how she is? You shut the hell up or I'll make you. Say, Taro, how'd it go? No good. I can't see a thing with a heavy fog. I feel lucky I even made it back. But you did look, right? Of course I did, but this fog just makes it impossible. I don't dare walk out with, without signs. Oh my god, I messed that up so bad. I mean, the old man was really insistent about n us not walking out there. I guess that's what he meant, huh? Well, well then what? Yuka might... What if she dies? I, I don't want that to happen. N no, Yuka's fine. I don't think she'll die. Huh? That the truth? She's got a pulse. Breathing. No fever. Nothing's wrong other than the external stuff. Though, she keeps mumbling she's cold. Not that it's any reason to leave her. We've got to get her to a hospital soon. If we just had a map, we could get around. How about we look for one? Uh, Alright. I'm sure we'll find one if we work together. Hey, by the way, Seitaro, about the phone not working and the charger, do you know why that happened? The house is powered, of course. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Maybe it's an outage or the guy forgot to pay his bill. Either way, power's out. You can see how dark it is without lights, right? Y yeah, it did seem dark, but why? It was working yesterday. How should I know? Still, Yuka takes priority right now. Gotta find that map. Yeah, got it. Let's search the house together. We, we gotta help Yuka. Yeah, right. Oh, things are getting juicy, guys. But I'm gonna have to end it here for this episode. Uh... <laughs> Looks like we're into some pretty, pretty instant, intense stuff right off the bat. Uh, yeah. If you guys have any suggestions on what to play next, just leave them in the comments. I already got Eve on the list. Other than that, you know, <clears throat> just leave what you want me to play. I've never played the big name RPG maker horror games. Like Mad Father, The Witch's House, um, Misao, all those because I've already seen a lot of gameplay footage on it. But if you guys want me to see it or want me to play it, I will. Other than that, thanks for sitting down watching me play Mermaid Swamp. This is Aki. Have a great day and remember to always stay safe. Uh -huh.